representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category. The Aeroglass 248cc has an overall length of 25 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built for handling offshore conditions with ease, she has a draft of 15 inches, a dry weight of 4,800 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 105 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Rick, you've been around for a while. You might remember back in the late 1970s and the early 80s, the uh, Arrow Glass line of boats. Do you remember that? Sure. A.L. Kirkland? A.L. Kirkland built those boats. Kirkland I remember Glass right. Yeah. Runabouts. Do you remember those? You know what they were? They were fun boats. Okay, they weren't serious, hardcore fishing boats. They were built to have a good time on. Okay, well, it's 2018 and they're bringing the Arrow Glass back. We're on the very first one, the 248 center console. Totally different boat from the old boats here, but you know, definitely brought us back into the present here. What do you think of this boat? What a great, safe path to offshore fishing, for example. That's a very good way to describe it. You know, I ran this boat all morning, and the first thing I thought of when I got offshore was, this is a boat for a young family. I mean, you're gonna be able to go offshore fishing in it. The boat ran really well today, but you know, we haven't overlooked a lot of the things that are gonna make the family have more fun while they're on it. George, if you're gonna have fun on a boat, you better be comfortable, buddy. This is what bringing the family is all about. This is a great little setup here where you can sit all around and you've still got room to walk around up here and fish too at the same time, but that seating is very comfortable. Well, and you're opposed from it, you've got a seating right here. So it's not like people are jammed up in here. I mean, you've got, for a 24 foot boat, you've got room for a four or five people to sit up here and carry on a conversation. Very, very comfortable. You're right. Let's talk a little bit about what this seating also offers you too. You've got storage up here, okay? There's three separate boxes. These are insulated boxes underneath the seats here. There's three of them. There's also a fish box in the deck right here. On a boat this size, you've really got to make the most of all the available real estate, and they definitely have with this boat. While we're talking about the late 70s and, the, and early 80s, was the most unsafe, impractical thing you ever saw. The old style bow rails, remember, that did oh, nobody yeah. any good? Sure. Boy, these aren't those, I can tell you that. These are golden if you have kids, grandkids. It's out of the way, you fish around it, it keeps everybody on the boat, and it's very, very cool to look at. George, take a look back here. Let me tell you something, how's that for a console for a 24-foot boat? You got plenty of room for your electronic screen, and I noticed something, the same thing you pointed out to me yesterday on a glass stream. When you're running hard, you don't feel it. That windshield is an ideal height. Absolutely. You know what? Let's go back to the inside of the console for a minute. This is a really roomy console on the inside. It's, it's big enough to get down inside and, and be comfortable if you need to get down there for the head, but the storage that you add down there too. And you know, walking back from here, the traditional rocket launcher with the fold down footrest doesn't take up a ton of space. Comfortable place to sit, comfortable place to lean. Also, you've got an overhead electronics box right there too. You know, to add to the space you've got on the dash, put your radio, stick uh, your camera up there, cell phone, whatever, get that stuff out of the weather. Why don't we move to the back of the boat? This seems to be the place where I always end up getting stuck. I'm always the guy baiting hooks for everybody. So why don't we go back here and have a look at some of the fishability on the boat. Now we are looking at the back of this leaning post here. I should point out that you've got space to put a nice drink cooler underneath there. And then obviously you're gonna have rod holders in the back and a couple of cup holders too. Let's take a look at this. We feel like we're getting squeezed into the cockpit. We're running out of boat. They wisely use this transom space to put a live well in, okay? It is about a, that's a 30 gallon or so live well. We've had it full of pilchards. They've lasted all day without a problem. And this kind of a neat little feature, instead of just eating this whole transom with fiberglass, you put a couple of seats right here, but there's something I've never seen. You've got two doors, dive doors, to get through the back and stand out on the transom. What speaks more to this being a family boat than the live well, the sink, everything right here together, they obviously set this up for a lot more than just one purpose. For sure. I mean, and back to the fishing here real quick, you know, there's six rod holders in the gunnel back here and you've got under gunnel storage for six more. So it is a fishing boat. I mean, between all that and then the four here, this is a boat set up to fish. It's a boat set up to picnic. It's a boat set up to ride. It's a just a really, really interesting multi-use family boat. If I had to pick one phrase to describe this Aeroglass 248, I think it'd be ready to go.